Welcome to the Living Healthy with COPD YouTube channel. Subscribe to get daily videos. Also hit the notification bell and if you like the video, hit the like button. We make videos all about what it is like to live with COPD. The topics range from supplements, diet, exercise, spirituality, medications, and overall healthy lifestyle. Enjoy! 4 Types of COPD Surgery Several types of surgery can treat advanced COPD if other treatments aren't enough. 1. Bullectomy. This is surgery to remove large damaged air sacs, called bully, or blebs, that can form inside your lungs. If they're removed, you may be able to breathe more easily. But most people don't have bully that are big enough for this operation. You'll be under general anesthesia for this operation. The most common complication is an air leak. As with other surgeries, there's also the risk of infection and post-surgery pain. As you recover, you'll need to do pulmonary rehabilitation. If you smoke, it's very important to quit. 2. Lung Volume Reduction Surgery LVRS. This is used to treat people who have emphysema in the upper lobes of their lungs. Diseased tissue can make an open space in that area, and air can get stuck there. That makes one lung too large, and it fills up with too much air when you breathe in, called hyperinflation. LVRS takes out about a third of the diseased tissue in the upper lobe area of your lung. Even though it makes your lung smaller, it may help the healthy parts of your lungs work better. You'll be under general anesthesia for this surgery. Your surgeon will take out the part of the upper lobe of your lungs that's been damaged by the disease. They may also have to take out some of the healthy air sacs around the damaged part. Recovery from LVRS surgery includes being in the hospital for 5 to 10 days right after the operation and going to pulmonary rehabilitation. 3. Endobronchial Valves. A newer, but still rare, way to treat hyperinflation is to put a tiny, one-way air valve in the diseased lobe. The valve lets air out but not in. Within a few hours, all the air is pushed out. To qualify for this type of surgery, you must have damage only in one area of your lung, not all over. Your treated lung can't get any air from the lobe or lung that borders it. It must be airtight, or the surgery won't work. You'll have to get an imaging scan and other tests to be sure valve surgery will work for you. If not, you may still be able to get LVRS. If you are a good candidate and decide to get these valves, the doctor will use a thin, flexible tube called a bronchoscope to position the valves in your affected lung. The valves are about the size of a pencil's eraser. You'll either be sedated or under general anesthesia during the procedure and you may stay in the hospital for a short time afterward. 4. Lung Transplant. If your advanced COPD has so severely damaged your lung that it no longer works well, you may qualify for an organ transplant. This is major surgery to remove your diseased lung and replace it with a donated lung. This is thought of as a last resort for advanced COPD treatment. This is thought of as a last resort for advanced COPD treatment. Your doctor may recommend it if you have very severe COPD that's getting worse even with treatment.